what's more important in battling? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, um, there's a shitload of elements, and again, I guess I'm answering this more from a, as a fan of battling than as an actual battler, but I guess uh, being a battler now, so to speak, my perspective is a bit more knowledgeable, but I can't say that there's any one aspect that overrides another because uh, it, it's always style clashes. Like, you can take a very notable punchline rapper, put him up against the dopest freestyle rapper, put him in a certain crowd, one is going to end up winning. It's going to depend on preparation. It's going to depend on a whole bunch of shit. Uh, rebuttals plays into freestyle. Um, if you're quick, if you're quick-witted, then you can obviously flip a line real, you know, in a dope fashion, and you can make the crowd go fucking nuts if the crowd appreciates rebuttals. Um, again, your crowd, uh, the demographic plays into all that shit. A lot of people don't think about that. People will blame a crowd for being whack. It depends on where you go. You go to the West Coast where there's quote unquote backpackers, you know, they're into freestyle because that's that's the thing. Freestyle battling out there is huge, so they're into rebuttals. You go to the East Coast, they want gun punch lines, they want metaphors, they want uh, delivery, they want maybe rhythm. Uh, if you're going to go to the Midwest, they're going to want a lot of rhythm um, and a lot of punch lines as well. So again, if you were to go you know, to, to Europe, it's freestyle, it's rebuttals, um, but at the same time it's also punchline. So there's not one that I can say that is the big, the, the end-all, be-all. Um, a lot of people will probably lean towards punchlines, but um, there's a lot of top-tier battlers in the world, and they all have their strengths, uh, and they're all top-tier for a reason. So, you know, I mean, there's no one battler that is truly the greatest of all time, but I would say that the edge probably goes to somebody that can take all of them and kind of combine them. Um, but fracture led to fractor, uh, and then from fractor it went to refractor. And uh, I got the word refractor not from bending light or light hitting water or a telescope. Uh, it came from a Mega Man game, actually. So, yeah, true to my nerd roots, as always. I can't wait for somebody to use that in a battle against me, too. That'll be great. Yeah, I see the... Uh, the, the Soulcon, I don't get them as much anymore. People just say I try to look like him. Uh, uh, shame on me for, for fucking with my, you know, Y and X chromosomes before birth to end up making me look the way that I look. It's just incredible. But uh, in terms of sounding like him, I honestly don't think I do. Uh, I don't sound anything like him. Um, he is far more experienced at this. He's far more rhythmic, and he's got way more ability than I do. Um, so normally when people say that I sound like him or I'm trying to sound like him, I just take it as a big fucking compliment. But aside from that, I don't ever take it seriously because uh, uh, my entire style would have to be switched up completely um, in order to sound like Soul Con. Uh, do I consider him an influence? I mean, yeah, I've, I've listened to his music. I've watched his battles. I was a battle fan before I started battling. So people like Marv One and Soul Con, Mac Lethal, No Can Do, I mean, all the battlers and whatnot that I've watched... Um, you know, even going back to, to like old Scribble, of course they influ they influence almost every battler. And anybody telling you that they haven't been influenced in battling is probably fucking lying to you. So, yeah, he's influenced me, but it doesn't go any further beyond that. I'm definitely not trying to rid them, that's for sure. If it were an actual game, I would probably dominate the shit out of everybody in it just because it's Gears of Warcraft. Um, I don't I mean, that's baffling. Like, how do you... How does somebody, I can't, I can't even just, I can't dignify that with a serious response because how the fuck, how the, okay, I know you're watching this right now and I'm actually going to speak to the camera here because I haven't been for the most of the interview. Jocasso, please, uh, and by the way, whoever edits this video, please put this in here. Jocasso, I'm begging you. I, I have to know because I know that deep down inside you are a nerd just like the rest of us. What the fuck were you thinking? When you wrote that line, or when you came up with that line, what what was that? What empowered you to say Gears of Warcraft? I just, are you trying to hide the fact that you're a nerd? I mean, just if you, I, I don't just answer me that, please. Either make a video blog, perhaps send me an email, a text message. You can send me a letter by pigeon, and let me know what the fuck that was even about. Um, you know, uh. I guess my simpleton mind does not understand such complex metaphors. Uh, therefore, and you know, it's been months since that battle happened, and every single day I wake up in the morning and I try to figure out what the fuck that means, and I don't have a clue. I couldn't tell you what. I, I don't know. 
I've read every Harry Potter book and I can't. I went back and reread the whole series just to see if there was some reference to being turned into a fucking pig or something about bacon. There's nothing in there, I don't get it. So your guess is as good as mine. So, Guardian Leviosa's a levitation spell. Every single question here is about nerd shit. <laughs> we're, we're just putting on for the stereotype. It's a levitation spell. No, it's, it, I can't be turned into a frog if you, if you Leviosa me. Sorry. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people will, again, they criticize the rhythm aspect of it. And, uh, I mean, it's battling and it's a cappella. You know, and I battled Absidy for Christ's sakes, and he was a more rhythmic rapper, and it ended up playing to his disadvantage. So, I mean, you know, I'm sure that if I tried to rap more rhythmic, people would tell me, they would criticize me for being too rhythmic. It's, you know, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But we'll start from Vegas, because obviously I'm a small fish in a very big pond. Um, I think that... Uh, and I, we actually had this battle set up for last month, and it ended up falling through because of my battle with Ares. But I would really like to battle Conflict. Uh, I think Conflict would be a really good opponent. Um, and hopefully we'll set that up in the future, because, I mean, he's a, he's a cool dude. And, uh, uh, you know, despite the, like, whatever fumbles he had in his battle against KON, he came fucking ridiculous. Um, I, I think that, that OT round with that, you know, was it because your dad raved you? Because, I mean, he went off. He snapped. And uh, so I think he'd be a dope opponent. Uh, I'd love to battle Genie in the future. Um, I just think that that would just be a hilarious battle. Um, wow. Cool. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I, you uh, suggested the idea of battling Cooley Bob, And I guess the reason I didn't take it seriously was because uh, I just didn't think that he would be into it. Uh, really. I'm not saying that I would destroy Cooley at all. I just, I didn't think they would ever be possible because his last battle was against Dome, so I never thought that he would think I'd be a worthy opponent, but uh, that would be a fun battle to do. Um, I've seen a lot of the footage from him battling. He's very dope. Uh, yeah, that would be... Loki. Uh, that was actually a, a, lot, a, a much better battle than um, I'm sure people in the YouTube comments section uh, think. Uh, again, because he's a juggalo or because of his odd appearance and because of the fact that he wears like fangs and shit, people are going to just hate on him to begin with. Um, but at the battle that night, at that event, he actually got some very good reactions. And, you know, regardless of whatever happened in that OT round, that's the OT round. The battle's already over. Those, you know, round one and round two, he was getting some pretty decent reactions. And it was a pretty good back and forth. But I got him in the second round with the impersonation, and the crowd kind of went crazy. So I ended up winning that. But it was a lot closer than people thought. Um, I would say that the closest call, um, well, actually, my Logically, or uh, uh, literally speaking, my closest call was against Ares because the judges actually went to a split decision. Every other battle I've had has always been a, a unanimous decision. Um, really, I guess, uh, um, probably Absidy. Um, I felt that my performance was very strong. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, hate on him to, you know, to begin with, so they ha had this preconceived notion that he was going to suck ass. I personally felt that he did a pretty good job. I think he outwrapped me. Um, I think I, almost every opponent I've come up against though has outwrapped me, so that's really not a question. But um, uh, aside from Ares, Absidy's the only opponent I faced that actually tried to flip a line that I threw at him. So you know, much respect. <laughs> making me, I, you know what? I have never jumped on a track in my life. I had uh, after I started battling, I had a lot of people ask me. You know, I've had a couple of people send me beats. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I really have no idea what I'm doing with, or you know, doing in that regard. So, uh, I haven't even tried to touch on it yet. Are would you? I? Would I like to? Yeah, I would love to, to, to jump in a booth and give it a shot. Because uh, I mean, it's the same thing with battle rap. I mean, I just tried it. Uh, if I were to do it, you know what? Like, I would rather go in there, jump in the booth, try it, and if it sounds fucking awful, then it sounds awful, and I just walk out and go, okay, well, you know what? I gave it a shot. You know, whatever. Uh, but I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to run up to every battler I see from AHAT or anybody that I meet that wants to work with me and be like, hey, put me on, put me on, put me on, because I'm not that type of person. I mean, if the opportunity comes up and somebody really wants to do it, I would be more than happy to give it a shot. But uh, I'm not running around trying to beg people to give me studio time because I'm just not that type of person, one. And two, I'm not confident enough in my own abilities because I've never done it before to really think that I would just rip it in the booth. I would love to try, though. You know, I, I would definitely be down to give it a shot. Oh, that shit was dope. That was an excellent experience. Uh, 
Yeah, um, a lot of people don't know about that tattoo, but it is the sickness. Uh, I know that you asked that question because you're a fucking dick, and you are trying to patronize me, but I will not buy into your, uh, your silly little games here. Uh, that tattoo is the sickness, and uh, it is better that than getting like some fucking Latin phrase tattooed across my fucking collarbone just to be the uh, ultimate asshole. No one has ever asked me that before, so it's kind of interesting. Um, and this is probably going to be material that people can use against me in battles now, but uh, Galactic Inquisition is actually just a group of my uh, homies out here in Vegas. Um, a lot of them are b-boys. Um, uh, some of them are affiliated with like Runaway Tribe and whatnot, so they're pretty active out here. But uh, no, they just get together and they session, and you know, we just decided to just you know, throw a name for the core group, and, uh, you know, so it's just kind of a representation of a group of friends, and it's the same thing with the Murder Doves. The Murder Doves is just a group of uh, homies that I've been gaming with online for years, who uh, are just people that I just stay in contact with more on a daily basis than probably a lot of the people that I know face-to-face, -face. so uh, of course I shout them out, because they've always been supportive. <sighs> Fuck you for asking that question. If this actually ends up going on the video, I will fucking kick you in the face the next time I see you. Um, either no we're, we're this real we're really not going to do a twilight q a that is for goddamn sure okay okay at burlington coat factory uh no i do not work at burlington coat factory i don't work at gamestop either i'm trying to think of where else somebody said that i work at that's it so far um no you know what uh i don't work at either of those two jobs nice try i've never sold a coat in my life but uh, i'm sure that if you go there they can hit hit, hit, hit you up with some fucking uh, great Cat Williams-esque gear to uh, outfit yourself with and um, do I own a f no I do not own a full mink coat however uh, you know I would have no problem fucking someone's mother in the ass while wearing a full mink coat pretty fucking large actually it's pretty fucking large yeah that's actually my pickup line we're gonna go back into the club we're gonna go up to the bar and uh, I won't open with, excuse me, ma'am, I'm a battle rapper. Excuse me, ma'am, I'm amazing at video games. Excuse me, ma'am, I'm an 18th level assassin in Dungeons and Dragons. No, I will show her my pocket protector, and I guarantee you I will smash later that evening. I'm not <laughs> Jewish, by the way. We can end the interview on that. I'm not Jewish. I'm not Jewish.